Maybe the thing you're most scared of is exactly what you should I do. I love what I do still. I have passion for it. Whatever it was, I, I just tried to dominate it. In a place I've always been trying to get to. It wasn't like our parents were in the industry or were musicians or filmmakers or anything, but something major happened. HBO arrived into our home. You know, I was like six, and my brother Jay was like nine or 10. I would get up on Sunday morning, turn on the TV, and Ordinary People was on, and then Kramer vs. Kramer was on, and then Annie Hall, and so at like six years old, I was just like, what is this? That made me and Jay at a very young age interested in like adult relationship dynamics. My name is Mark Duplass. I am a filmmaker. I am a kale smoothie enthusiast, and I watch a lot of movies. We were making things since we were 10 and seven years old. Jay was the one that was old enough to work the camera, and I was too young to do anything, so I just became the actor. I would be improvising the stories, and Jay would be kind of directing me from behind the camera. And still to this day, that, that ethic kind of stayed in place. Uh, what's this picture about? So this is me and my brother. Um, I'm about four, Jay's about eight. Um, but this was one of our early creative projects, was this paint by numbers Spider-Man thing. So your collaboration started very early? Collaborations were very, very early on, and I have to give it to Jay for being the type of guy who would include me on that stuff. How do you, how do you keep your ego out of it? I mean, I'm such a petty person, and I know if I had to work with one of my siblings, I had, like, yeah. every argument would be about, like, the split lip they gave me when I was, like, five or something. Yeah. You know, how do you keep that garbage out? Anytime anything little comes up, I think what happens is, we realize that um, it's nothing compared, you know, to the Herculean task of trying to make a great film, you know. And so, like every great buddy movie, um, you know, they start off as enemies, but towards the end, they realize they must join forces <laughs> against the greater evil that faces them, you know. And that's basically what we do. Jay and I worked as editors for a little bit, and my dad called us and he's like, you know, you're working 12 hours a day editing a television show for a church when you should be cultivating yourself as an artist if you really want to do this, you know? So it's like, I'll give you $1,000 a month for the next few years so that you can live really cheaply, but so you don't have to have a day job and you can make your stuff. We went and bought a cheap camera and we started making stuff and it was all horrible and all derivative. And it was intensely depressing for, to us for, for years. One day we had this kind of crazy breakthrough, which was, you know, we were sitting on the couch and we we're watching Fargo and wondering why we suck. Um, and I just looked at Jay and I was like, I think we've gotten off track here. We've completely denied our own instincts and we've gotten completely in our heads, you know? So I said, I think we should do something like we used to do when we were little kids. Like, you just pick up a video camera and I'll act in it like we used to do. And we'll try and find one little nugget that to us, you know, feels like our sense of humor and our sense of comedy. And that was the first movie we made that got into Sundance. Did you have a moment where you felt like you'd made it? Have you had that moment yet? Yeah. At Sundance in 2005, at the premiere of our first feature, The Puffy Chair. You know, we wondered if we could take our sort of instinct-oriented approach to filmmaking and make it work for 90 minutes instead of just five minutes. We sat right in the middle of the audience, wondering when that first laugh is gonna come. We had told ourselves, like, it's okay if they don't laugh at this point, but unless we get it here, we're, we're done. Like, if we don't get it here, it's over, <laughs> you know? And the first laugh came in, and we looked at each other, and we started crying. <laughs> and we're just like, I can't believe they get us in this way. And so that was really the moment where we felt like, okay, we're, we're here, we have something to offer. Mm -hmm.